So I'm going to put dinner on really quick before we get started because I'm running behind. I'm trying to get cleaning done. Just a busy mama trying to get it all done today. So I've got some cleaning to do y'all, but first I want to go ahead and get dinner going. I'm running a little behind and I wanted to go ahead and make sure dinner was ready. So whenever my son got home, we could just eat. So I'm just cooking for me and my son today. My husband's out on a job, so he's not going to be home for dinner. So it's just going to be me and my son. I'm not trying to make a whole lot of food because I do not want tons of leftovers in my fridge. Um, so first things first, I'm just putting on the rice. Let that do its thing. Everybody knows how to make rice. So I'm not going to go on de into detail about how I'm making the rice. So I'm going to be um, just seasoning my chicken. I'm just going to be really making more of like a chicken stew. So I'm going to season it really good. And then I'm going to just kind of sear it and then turn it into a stew. So I'm just seasoning it with some turmeric, some onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Of course, salt and black pepper as well. And then I'm going to sear it in my frying pan with a little bit of vegetable oil before I put it into my pot and get started on making this. So this was not on my menu for the week, y'all. This was just a last minute thing. I do have a couple more meals this week that I wanted to make. But since my husband was out of town, I wanted him to be here for those meals because some of them we've never tried before. And whenever I'm trying new meals, I like for all of us to be sure to eat it so we can say yay or nay on me making it again. And um, I just wanted something just, you know, quick and easy for me and my son. So that's why I'm just going to save that for later. With that being said, I do not have all the ingredients to make this usually when I make this I have more things to add to this but since I was wanting it I was craving it I was like you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and use what I have and try to recreate it and it was still so good so this is gonna be more like I said of a chicken stew type thing usually I like some carrots and some potatoes in there with it but I didn't have all of that I had some red kitty beans and some tomato paste and onions y'all and I made it work <laughs> so I'm going to sear the chicken really quick and then get it put into my pot and then I'll come back and tell you what I do next So now that I've browned the chicken a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and put it into my um, pot now so I can cook it. Usually I make this in my electric skillet, but I cannot find the cord to it, y'all. I desperately need this to deep clean under my cabinets. Um, so I'm going to add in a can of um, kidney beans and a little bit of a tomato paste to that in some water and then I'm also going to be slicing up a um, onion and putting in there I'm just going to cut it in fours I was thinking it would stay whole but it actually just you know you know cooked and separated in pieces anyways and I'm just going to be seasoning it a little bit more just the same spices the turmeric salt and pepper um, garlic powder onion powder and a little bit of cayenne and I'm just going to let this cook y'all it's going to cook on low for a while until the meat is all nice and tender and falling off the bone and that is how I like it and that is it y'all then just eat it over rice super easy delicious um, but I'm going to go ahead and just let this cook while I get some cleaning done and then we will um, and then I'll show you what it looks like So now I'm going to be cleaning my very, very messy pantry, y'all. I absolutely hate this pantry. I hate it with a passion. I cannot wait until we rebuild this pantry. And I'm hoping here within the next few months, I will have a brand new pantry. Um, if you were here with me, whenever I had my single wide, how my husband built that um, pantry for me, I kind of want the same thing. I want really deep shelves 
and um, a lot of them in storage underneath to where I can store things because I'm keeping my dishwasher so I want more storage and I feel like you know once we um, redo this pantry it will give me just that but I found a container y'all and it had jalapeno peppers in it and it was rotten I was like what how did that happen I have no idea but <laughs> it is now going to go get put in the trash so tomorrow is the big day we are going to be restocking the pantry you know I'm getting my groceries in and stuff so I wanted to make sure my pantry was clean I had a pack of flour that tipped over and got all over everything so I was like okay great my pantry needs a deep cleaning anyways I'm going to just go ahead and get everything out and deep clean and just organize everything clean up this mess that way I can have a clean pantry and see exactly what I have in stock anyways so it kind of worked out. So that's what I'm going to be working on now, y'all, is to deep clean this nasty pantry. If you have a small pantry as well and you know exactly what I go through trying to get everything all clean and organized and have everything fit nice and neat, comment below and let me know I'm not alone. And another thing, y'all, I feel like the shelves in here, if I like fill them up too much, they're going to fall. I I'm so scared to fill them up too much. Um, so yeah, that's another reason why I cannot wait because, oh my gosh, I'll be able to stock up this pantry from top to bottom. I cannot wait and I cannot wait for extra organization storage in there. Oh my gosh. But yeah, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and work on the pantry, get it all clean and organized. And then, um, hopefully dinner will be done. So and I'll show you what dinner looks like. So now that the flower mess is all cleaned up, I'm going to go ahead and put the stuff back down at the bottom and just focus on getting everything else wiped down and clean and just put it back where it goes. Um, and then I'm going to just focus on the two main um, shelves that I have there that everything is just piled up on and kind of clean and organize that as well because as you can see everything's just thrown there usually whenever we do um, groceries and we're putting them away sometimes I do ask for help or my family will just come and help me so we can get it put away because sometimes we're just in a hurry and we're going to leave or whatever the case may be and things just don't get put in the spot where I like it to be um, so and it just gets it just sits there that's why it, it looks the way that it looks so it is just time for me to go ahead and organize it and just get it all nice and clean so right Right now I'm just wiping down the tops of these containers because the flour mixture or just the flour it wasn't even a mixture it's just the flour just you know tipped up upside down and just spilled everywhere so I'm going to wipe them down and get them all nice and clean if you want to talk, I'm right here, not gonna leave your side. Just feel free to open up when the moment's right. Across your face, it is written across your face. If you want to go out, we can go out. You can hide away just for one night. But if you want to cry... So dinner is now done. As you can see, the meat is very tender falling off the bone now and that is what it's supposed to look like and just you know the sauce is thicker now it's just so delicious y'all like i said you can add potatoes in here you can add veggies in here zucchini carrots you can just you know create your own little chicken stew season it the way you like and this is so delicious eat it over rice yum yum so now that my belly is all nice and full it is time to get back to cleaning this pantry y'all 
So I'm just going through these bins. So one of these are just for um, like our snacks and stuff. And one's just for like um, my sides and spaghettis and stuff like that. I do have like special containers just for spaghetti, but I don't use them. I don't like them. Um, the lids don't stay on and it's just, I'm getting rid of them. So I'm just going to organize this the best that I can. And, you know, I'm going to just wait until my pantry is rebuilt. That way I can go buy more containers and know exactly what I'm doing. And just, you know, I cannot wait. Um, but for right now, I'm just trying to make it manageable, y'all. And just, you know, kind of organize it and make it look a little bit cleaner because it is a huge mess. And of course, I'm throwing some stuff away because... Um, we are so bad about throwing things away when chips get old and they don't get eaten. You know, they just been sitting in there for weeks and weeks. So they've got to go. All right, y'all. So this is what the pantry is looking like now. So it does look a whole lot better. I cannot wait until my pantry is actually um, rebuilt and I have more space in here because y'all, mm -mm, I'm, I'm tired of this pantry. So this is going to be one of our coming up projects. So down here at the bottom, y'all, what I do to make more room and utilize this space right here is I'm using this old crate that I had as a table and I'm using it around he right here. And inside of that, I can fit six gallons of water. And then I'm able to use it as a shelf and stack these containers up there. That gives me so much more room. So right beside that, I have my rice right there. And then I just have these containers that just has different things in it. Like that one has like some baking items, spices. Y'all, I don't know if y'all do this. Comment below and let me know. So like when you eat fast food and they give you like all the condiments, like the packets and stuff, whatever you have left over, we usually put it in here. And um, whenever we get fast food again, like if we're eating at home and they forget to give us stuff, we always have this stuff on hand. So you do, if you do do this, just make sure you check it and you know, you're not eating out of date stuff and it's just not old. But um, you know, I've done this last year um, and <laughs> I forgot all about it. So I had to dump it all out and start fresh, but there's an idea. Um, but in here, y'all, I just have my gravies and like taco seasoning packets and stuff like that. So on this shelf right here, I have like sides for dinner, some snack stuff, and then like bottle items right here, canned goods, and I have some breakfast items right over here. And then also up here, y'all, I'm going to be um, filling those up with cereal, but there's a couple of them over there. I think I want to save those for um, some Chex Mix I'm making, some homemade Chex Mix, and um, I'll use that. I'll use those for that yeah y'all this is my tiny pantry it does look a whole lot better so I'm trying to not overstock it and just keep only like the things that we need in here that way whenever we are rebuilding the pantry I don't have so much stuff but yeah y'all this is what the pantry looks like now we're gonna go ahead and get to finish cleaning the rest of the kitchen Take your pain away Cause I hate seeing tears streaming down your face I know you're strong Won't feel this way for long, no If you wanna go out, we can go out We can hide away just for one night But if you wanna cry, just let it out I'm by your side
side Maybe we can be friends when you're not so fragile When you know yourself well Somewhere down the sweet line When I do things for me Cause I don't wanna be, be a therapy I wanna be free, so Ooh, gotta go and grab a spoon now Ooh, make a life for myself Ooh, I don't know what I'm gonna do now Ooh, but I don't need your help Get out of my way So I've loaded the dishwasher. Now I'm going to clean my sink. And y'all, I was at Dollar Tree. This is my first time going to Dollar Tree in a very, very long time. I really stopped going to Dollar Tree um, just here and there. And I decided to get some cleaning supplies. I picked up a couple comments. And y'all, I don't know why. I don't know if this is new. But I just seen that they had that in a lavender scent as well as a lemon so I got one of these just to try them out. Usually I just get the regular stuff, but I've seen that they had the new scents. Or if it's new, comment below, let me know. Is it new or is it um, something that they've had for a while? Or I just didn't know that, you know, different scents or scented comet was a thing. I thought it was just one scent, but I am excited. I tried it and I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> um, this was the lavender one that I tried, but I do want to um, try um, the lemon one and see how I like that one.
so that is it for today's cleaning motivation. Hopefully you were able to get up and clean with me and get it all done today in today's homemaking video. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If y'all like that video, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below and I will see y'all in the next one. All right, bye y'all.